In this video, we show you how to use the SBQ to print images from negatives. For this purpose, we use a resin made from SBQ and polyvinyl alcohol that we prepared earlier. This emission is an excellent non-toxic alternative to gum dichromate. First, we need to prepare the paper to make it less porous. We can use watercolor paper sized with green PVA or an acrylic varnish. We can also use UPO paper which doesn't require any preparation. After applying two or three coats of varnish, the emission can be applied. First, we mix the pigments with the SBQ resin. If you haven't already done it, it's a good practice to add two or three volumes of polyvinyl alcohol solution or, even better, polyvinyl pyrrolidone for better adhesion. You can add a little bit of water, but only in very limited quantities. The emission should be applied in a very thin layer. Totally opaque emissions don't work and the black mustn't be too dense. Note that colored emissions are generally easier to master than black. Finally, we apply the emission with a watercolor brush. Once dry, we do exposure tests with a gradient negative. Exposure is generally very fast, in my case, about 10 seconds. Development is simply done in cold water and unexposed parts dissolve. You can also use the tape to be more effective. As you can see, we can obtain nice shades. It's time to expose the true negative. Here, it's the image of a highly textured piece of wood. Let's process to development. You can use cold water, the tape or a spray. At this stage, you can use a brush to work on the image, for example, to erase or soften certain areas. This is the creative aspect of a technique. This is the image you get after this first layer. If you want a denser image, you can make another layer. It's also possible to superimpose several layers of different colors to obtain a full color image. We'll talk about this in a future video.